Yo, what's up everyone? This is CryptoBox with another video. We create videos about blockchain games, NFTs, and more. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss big opportunities. So if you don't know, uh, Axie Infinity ha is a very popular and famous play to earn game. In fact, it's probably the most popular play to earn game in history so far. And uh, I did make a video um, when it was very, very popular and when everyone wanted to get in and scholarships and everything. I made a video on how to get, you know, a scholarship and all of that. And that really blew up. And uh, now it seems like, you know, no one is really asking for scholarships. And it's pretty clear on uh, like uh, why people don't want to get into a scholarship because uh, Axie Infinity, obviously, if you don't know yet... Uh, has died down a bit and so has the market so i guess that also makes sense but if we go over to the marketplace uh, if you don't remember already axie infinity axes would literally cost about 400 minimum 400 dollars minimum and you would need three of them so you need a team of three of axie infinities and usually you shouldn't go for the minimum ones and you should actually go and get like the higher quality tier whatever ones and so due to that it would cost maybe a thousand five hundred to two thousand dollars minimum to actually just start the game with your team of three axie infinities and now if you look at it you can see the minimum priced axie is fourteen dollars and fourteen dollars is you know comparing to four hundred dollars that is a huge decrease in Axie Infinity value or the Axie's value. So it went from, you know, $400 to $14, which is like $386 down or basically cheaper, I guess you could say. And uh, there's a lot of reasons, obviously. Uh, first, the most obvious out of all, the decrease in earnings and stuff. Like uh, they did debuff the earnings amount. So people usually before they'd make maybe fifty to a hundred dollars a day with just a team of three axes, and uh, they would make maybe a hundred fifty to three hundred SLP. If we be generous right now, three hundred SLP is four dollars. And if we go to the peak of Axie Infinity, as you can see, this is when it was booming. This is when Axie Infinity's business was booming. And this was when also people made, you know, a bunch of money. If we check right here, let's say 30 cents. Right now it is worth 1 cent. So if we go over here and put in uh, 30 cents times 300, uh, they would make $90. But now at the current rates, it would be only $4. So you can definitely tell why the Axie's, you know, price itself did go down. And, um... You know, people here, like, uh, I found a personal opinion from a guy on Reddit. As you can see, uh, this person used to make $2,000 a month as a scholarship manager five months ago. And uh, then they updated and said that they were close to $3,000 a month from Axie Infinity's scholarship management. And you, he had 13 scholars and all of that. But obviously, you know, the amount of invest of the amount of how much he had to invest was obviously a huge price because you need a team of three. Let's say he spent maybe he scouted a lot. So let's say a thousand two hundred per team. And uh, so that means he has three scholars. So each scholar needs a team, which means a thousand two hundred dollars, let's say average per scholar. And. You know, fifteen thousand dollars of an investment, but obviously he did not. He probably didn't invest that all at once. He probably got himself his own team, or something, and just started reinvesting from then on. So yeah, from three thousand dollars a month to, if we calculate now, uh, four dollars from one team. Uh, let's say we we you know we have thirteen teams too. So, uh, you know, fifty two dollars for thirteen scholarships. And, you know, if we go over here, that's now 1500 per month. And uh, obviously, that is, you know, it's not that bad. It's actually a fair amount. Uh, but obviously, that is 13 scholars. You're putting a lot of work. You're buying a lot of axes. You know, the ROI is really not there as what it used to be. And it's 
it's really not worth your time, you know, managing 13 people, checking what they're doing, and really, it's it's not worth the time. So yeah, that's uh, basically, as you can see, Axie Infinity is still number one on Playground.net, uh, which makes sense because they are still very, very popular. They, they have, you know, almost 1 million followers on Twitter. Though, they barely get any interaction to as what they used to. As you can see, if we go over to, let's say, their latest tweet by themselves, they got only 170 likes. If we go a little more down, you know, 1,000 likes. That's better, but obviously, 900,000 followers, you should be getting at least 80 to 90,000 likes per tweet or so. So, uh, definitely has died down a bit. And also another reason is the play turn market has, has been saturated or oversaturated, meaning that it's basically been hyped up, hyped up so much that it's basically like, it's normal. Like, uh, you don't get the good projects as Axie Infinity back before. Uh, even projects nowadays can't compete to Axie's Infinity's, uh, like production level of the game of the earnings of the uh, management for their team behind and everything they did way better than every well not not every but most play earn games i've seen now today's date uh so they axie infinity did it quite right and that's why they were also like you know obviously the most popular and a lot of people were trying to get in a lot of people wanted scholarships now obviously it's way more affordable to like you don't even need a scholarship to get a to get like five teams of axes you could like you can get so many axie infinities to make it to back then of spending like 1500 to two, uh, 1200 dollars right now as this price you can get so many axes for that price now before that that would only be for three axes and obviously now it isn't uh, we can see obviously more about like their white paper and stuff. This is basically the same and nothing has really changed The gameplay is the same the leaderboards is the same. So there's nothing really to discuss about that But honestly this video was just to really cover on what happened to Axie Infinity What maybe caused this downfall and what's the main mo main reason you can go over to like coin market cap now If you go over to coin market cap and check play to earn obviously Axie Infinity would be would be here but now it's not and like we said already uh, we discussed the reasons uh not many people are also trading axie infinity uh there's better platforms out there there's platforms like gala uh wax with a huge platform of so many different games you got alluvium uh most of these i've already covered uh, you got sandbox and decentraland of course uh, you got, you know, Minds of Delarnia. I've made a video about that before. Mobox is, uh, is not as it used to be also. So that has died down a bit. And most of these projects have died down a bit because play to earn market right now is not the best, we could say. And we should probably move on from saying play to earn and say play and earn if you're trying to actually make a, a game instead of a project. Uh, we can see right here... We also have like splinter shards or splinter lands uh, or something like that. Yeah, splinter hand lands, which is a pretty popular game or maybe was a pretty popular game. If you checked before, obviously same thing, you know, trading volume at that time was uh, about 10 million. Uh, the price was almost a dollar. So it was 92, almost 93 cents. Um, now it seems like the price is about 10 cents, 11 cents. So it's, you know, about every player and uh, project has taken a huge hit. So, yeah, tell me what do you think of Axies Infinity State right now and how cheap the Axies are compared to before. Um, obviously, also earnings are not as good as before and I'm pretty sure that they debuffed it. You can't earn 300 uh, on a singular team. So it'd probably be like, I don't know, 200 to 150 meaning that you could be earning $2.76 comparing to before when you can earn, you know, way more than that. If we had a normal team and you could earn 300 SLP like the standards were before, uh, if we go over here and let's say we were around the when Axie Infinity was, you know, like popping off, I guess you could say. Okay, let's say $0.30 cents again because it's a pretty good average. So... 
30 cents times 300 uh, 90 dollars a day times 30 2700 dollars uh, a month but keep in mind this is the maximum you could make before so people would be making usually around 200 which is still you know a lot of money that could be like 60 dollars for just playing this game right here so if we go again 30 cents times um 200 60 dollars right there so again uh, times 30 still 1800 dollars for an investment at the time of like I think 1,200 to 1,500. So ROI was pretty fast, actually, like 25 days, 26 days uh, back before. But now, obviously, it's not as fast as before. But you know, it's it's still a game. It's still a a game that is you know secure, is playable, and maybe fun to some of you guys. I've actually never played Axie Infinity myself, and uh, yeah. Tell me what you think of Axie Infinity. Hopefully you appreciate this video and learned something new. You can also join our Twitter and Discord server to be a part of our like-minded community of just play to earn, DeFi, NFTs, whatever you want to say over there that's about crypto. You're welcome. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.